Hi, I'm Rachel Schwartz with USA Hockey in Boston at BU's Walter Brown Arena, where training camp is underway for the U.S. national junior team. 30 players took the ice today in hopes of making the team that will compete at the 2015 Double IHF World Junior Championship. I caught up with head coach Marco Siki and a couple of the players to get their take on the start of camp. I thought uh, day one for guys getting on the ice, and you knew guys would be a little jittery. Um, I thought the, the compete level was unbelievable. The pace is un, un, off the charts. I mean, the pace up and down the ice. Obviously, you see the size of these kids, but then their abilities to, to get up and down. Um, I, I look, they look like they're uh, flying. I, I don't think that there were too many jitters. I, I think we said as a staff and, and the guy sitting up top watching as well is that the, the pace of the practice was unbelievable. And uh, I think that that's the one thing that stood out. Uh, the guys getting up and down, the, the, the compete. You're gonna, the guys are going to compete in different ways. It's not all about physical compete. It's the compete with the puck and wanting to have the puck and, and maintaining the puck. And But our, our, our speed factor was outstanding today. First day of practice, it was, uh, it was really good you know, really intense, um, a lot of high pace and a lot of good players here too. It was good. I think today was just uh, a good day to get our legs under us and get used to, you know, like coaching staff and other players and stuff. Um, so it was kind of like a good warm-up day for the rest of the week and it was really high intensity, so it was a lot of fun. The, the benefit with the, the new guys, there's eight new ones that have that were not in Lake Placid. They, they've, they've had the benefit of being around uh, the program in Ann Arbor. Uh, so a lot of familiar, familiarity with the players and coaching staff uh, and and personnel uh, so that puts them at ease a bit I think you're just trying to get them to to calm down and, and relax a bit just to, with their play and, and not worry about uh, trying to do everything in, in one uh, obviously ice setting or session you know when you're playing a team like this you know you're playing for a greater cause you're playing for your country so it's an honor for everyone to be here and I think that alone like helps us bond quicker a lot of the players were at Lake Placid and so you know, a lot of players played with each other there and kind of developed some chemistry there but um, I definitely, uh, you know, everybody here is a great player. I mean, everybody, everybody can skate. Everybody does everything right. So, um, it's definitely. Uh, I think you know, we're definitely the team's looking very good right now. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to play for Coach Granado, so he kind of gives me, you know, he'll give me a little look like, you know, you're right and stuff like that. But um, I, I was a little bit lost on a few of them today. But you know, you, you kind of you figure it out. You know, the older guys help you, so it's kind of cool. I mean, like you know, you have the experienced guys like Steven Santini and JT. They've been real good to me so far. You know, just trying to tell me to you know play your game and calm down. You know, no matter you know who you're going against, or it's just it's just like every other day. Well, we've talked to, uh, with that group about leadership right from the get go, and and they've done a really good job with that. And obviously, with, with a guy like Santini or Fashion, and they they've done a great job, and uh, they they take that leadership to heart. Uh, um, but then other guys like uh, Amat and Confer, uh, they're great to lean on, and they really relish the, the leadership role. Do we want to uh, put these kids into a situation where there's a couple days they can get their feet wet a bit and get some, uh, you know, whether we're talking systems or just uh, the compete factor and, and just kind of get them I into camp and ease into it in, in a way where they feel comfortable. Um, but then we're going to have to wrap it up, ramp it up a bit uh, heading into the weekend. And uh, so when we are able to see the guys compete against BU on, on Friday night, that we can make some decisions as a staff and it's not going to be easy. You know, practices will be really fun just because there's so many good players here and um, obviously scrimmaging BU will be a lot of fun too so um, I think the key thing here is just to take it day by day because you need a, it's so competitive you just need to take every day seriously and have a good day so um, right now I'm just focusing on tomorrow and then whatever happens after what happens. Uh, you know getting to know these guys more like I've, I've met a few guys that I've never even talked to or heard of you know and We've you know we've met each other and it's been kind of cool and you know having like an older guy having older guys to kind of look up to and you know trying to learn from especially coming from the program that I'm at now which is kind of cool you know you hear stories about them and stuff and you actually get to like interact with them now which is kind of nice. Uh, not a lot of people get the opportunity to you know wear 
USA uh, you know crest on your jersey. So I think uh, for me and I'm sure every other player that is here, um, you know, they're gonna work really hard and um, do whatever they can in their power to you know make this team. Uh, everyone deserves to be here. Everyone has done a great job to get here. Uh, unfortunately, you are gonna let a couple guys go, and but that's not the end of their career. They're going to have uh, a very bright careers ahead of them, and don't let that drag them down. But you know, it's going to it's going to spur them in a different direction. But um, you know, the, the the depth of hockey in USA has been outstanding, and it's uh, I mean, it's fun to see guys coming from so so many different areas and doing well. Stay tuned for more coverage of camp and for more information on the U.S. National Junior Team. Visit WorldJuniors.USAHockey.com and follow USA Hockey on Twitter and Facebook.